In this video I'm going to show you how to create yourself a bad apple in Adobe Photoshop. It's going to look exactly like the one you can see on your screen at the moment. What we do is take two pictures, one of an apple and one of a tiger. We cut out the mouth of the tiger, stick it on the apple and just blend the two together nicely so it looks like an angry apple. So we head over to Photoshop to get started and open ourselves a picture of an apple and a picture of a tiger. Now the first thing I want you to do is just head over to the Apple Layer Panel, right click on the background layer and just duplicate that layer. You can give it a name if you want but I'm just going to stick with background copy and click OK. After that head on over to the tiger picture and zoom in a little bit around his mouth because we're about to cut that guy's mouth out. Now what we need to do here is pick up our polygonal lasso tool. We basically want to cut around the black lips on the tiger. So I'm going to start at the top here. Just carefully go click, click, click. We'll get around this tooth carefully. Click, 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 and so on. We just keep going around. Try and get as close to the black as possible. If you go outside the lines here, it is going to look messy. So this one, you've got to really take your time. To get it looking good. shouldn't take you too long, it's a fairly easy cutting job. Okay, when you get back to the start you'll get the marching ants that will appear. Once they've appeared, head up the top, make sure you've got your feather set to either one or two pixel. I'm going to go for two pixels on this one. And now we can go up to edit and copy. It's going to copy that selection. We can go back to our apple and we'll go to edit and paste and paste that in. Now it's not going to come out too big, so we will need to resize this. And we'll do that by heading on up to our Move tool and showing the Transform controls by checking that box. And I'm going to move this mouth over here into position. Let's get it up to a decent size. Make sure you hold Shift when you resize this. That way it'll remain in proportion. Okay, we need to get this mouth lined up probably a little bit too big actually, I'll just make him a bit smaller. We'll line him up about there. Okay, we'll hit the tick up the top. Okay, so it doesn't look too crash hot at the moment, but we've got our mouth in position. Now the next thing we need to do is grab our polygon lasso tool again. We're going to make a selection up the top here. Because what we're going to do is take the apple and stretch it out so it joins the start of the mouth. So let's click on our background copy layer and make that selection of the apple. So I'm going to start out in the white and just go up around here, come around the back of his tooth, just go under the tooth and then back to the start. Okay, and we've got this selection here like that. Okay, next thing we need to do is go to our edit menu, head down to transform and select the warp option you'll see a grid appears like this. What we could do now is warp this apple so it morphs into the edge of the tiger's mouth. It's a pretty easy one, that one. We didn't have to do too much. We might be able to move that bit back in a bit so it doesn't hang out the side of the mouth. So now I've got the edge of the apple joining with the start of the mouth. When you're happy with that warp, just hit the tick at the top. And to remove these marching ants, press Ctrl D to deselect. I'll go up to Select Menu and choose Deselect. Okay, so our apple now joins the start of the tiger's mouth. We need to do the same down the bottom. So with your polygonal lasso tool still selected, let's make a selection around the bottom. Right here, get a bit of the apple, go a bit over the mouth. We'll go up to Edit, Transform, and Select Warp. Now this one's a bit harder, we've got a bit more space to work with. Try and join that apple up the best you can with the bottom of the mouth. We can move that mouth again in a minute, if we need to. So I don't think we will, I think that apple does look a little bit fat over that side, but I think it's going to work still. So I'll hit the tick and deselect those marching ants. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Now, the next thing I want to do is get rid of this piece of apple just over here that's hanging out the side of the mouth. The way we do that is grab the paintbrush tool. We need to select white as our color. So we want it to go over the top of this and just look like a background. 
I'm going to make my brush a bit bigger by using my right square bracket and because I'm on the background copy layer I can go over the top of the mouth and it won't affect it whatsoever and that just gets rid of that bit through there a little bit up there I might get rid of too okay and the last thing it's still quite jagged the mouth the edges are quite jagged so what we want to do is smooth out the edges of this mouth and the way we're going to do that is click back on layer 1 which is the mouth layer and grab our eraser tool with the eraser I want to change the flow drop it right down to like 25 percent if possible and I'm going to zoom in a bit here I'm going to get up near the top of the mouth and just carefully start rubbing out near where the lips are and start blending in the lips to the rest of the apple Okay, because the flow is turned down so low it's not going to be a very harsh rubber go around all these jagged edges, smooth them out a bit I am doing a bit of a rush job at the moment so it's going to be a bit messy but that's alright, I'm sure you can take your time and really get this apple and mouth blended together nicely And when you get these tricky bits, make sure you press the square bracket on the left to make it a bit smaller and just make sure you blend those in nicely. Okay, so if I zoom out a bit now, a little bit messy around in here, but apart from that, I think that looks pretty good. And that mouth blends in pretty nicely to the apple, and we have ourselves a bad apple. To finish off, make sure you head up to your file menu, save for web, ensure that you've got JPEG selected and you've got high or very high. As your quality. Just we'll click on save and save that into your account. And that's it.